If music be the food of love, then I say play on Mix a little joy of cooking with your favorite song This is Riffs and Recipes With Ellen McKinney Yum Hi, I'm Ellen McKinney and this is Riffs and Recipes where I unite music with food to create a symphony of beats and bites. It's been a little while since my last post and I want to thank everyone for your patience during my spring and summer hiatus. Things got a bit busy but I'm so happy to be back just in time for Canadian Thanksgiving. It's one of my favorite feasts of the year. I love a hot bowl of soup on a chilly fall evening, and my squash soup recipe is one of my absolute favorites. It uses both butternut squash and acorn squash and one cup of beer. Now this time I used Carlsberg, which is a lager from Denmark. It's the perfect brew to use because it's not too heavily hopped, very clean and fresh. Alternatively, on occasion when I want to try something different and play around, I will use a semi-sweet apple cider in place of the beer. And uh, a good option is Summersby apple cider, also from Denmark. Now it isn't available across the country or in uh, all of the United States yet. So if you are going to go with a cider, do use a semi-sweet one. Um, by that I mean one that has a little bit more of the fruit flavor of the apple. A dry cider, like some of the British ciders, are going to be a little bit too cutting and a little bit off-putting for this. As much as I love this recipe, I don't want to fill up on soup before the impending feast. So I've come up with soup shooter-sized portions that will tempt the taste buds. Think of it as a prelude to the main act. Now, in order to save a little bit of editing time, because this truly is a one-woman band production, I'm going to cut right to the chase on the plating of our recipe, because that's really what makes this dish special. First, it's time for a bacon bacon tip. Look who showed up just as I'm making bacon. <laughs> Motown, the monster. All right, here's my tip for perfectly crispy bacon. Bacon. Yeah, that's right. Bake your bacon. I'm always excited about it. <laughs> Who is it? All right, simply preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Arrange your bacon on a sheet as I have. Now I've cut it in half. We want these to be perfect in size to be inserted into the little glasses. Pop it into the oven. Keep an eye on it because you don't want it to overcook, but approximately 20 to 25 minutes from now, we're gonna have perfectly crispy bacon. Chances are your Thanksgiving guest list spans a few generations. So I came up with a playlist that's a bit of a musical walk through time. It's playful, upbeat, and fun with just a few songs to keep things nice and calm and sane during dinner. I see skies of gratitude with these playlist picks.
What a wonderful world it is indeed. Made even more wonderful with bacon! Yay! Yay! I'm going to let you in on a little secret. The piece de la resistance of the plating of this dish lies in these mini two ounce beer steins. Aren't they great? I got them at the dollar store. Shh. Do, 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 do. Take one of your glasses, fill it with the heated squash soup, have a paper towel on handy to clean up any spills and any drippage. Simply add a strip of bacon, drizzle with a little bit of sour cream to make a little pretty pattern. And for just a splash of color, a few chives that have been finely chopped so as not to affect the mouthfeel. And voila! These are just simply fun and full of flavor. Mmm, bacon spoon. Yum. I wish you and yours the absolute happiest of Thanksgivings. Whenever I think of Thanksgiving, I, I go back several years to a church service I went to downtown Toronto. The minister was an English man, quite a funny man, and his sermon that day started off with the Rolling Stones lyrics of I can't get no satisfaction. But his point was very clear. We live in a society that can't get no satisfaction. We're always looking for more. We're always trying to keep up with technology, keep up with the Joneses. We often forget to just be grateful and give thanks for all we have. So may we all count our blessings. And if this finds you on your own today, on this holiday weekend, know that you are loved and needed. Cheers. Riffs and recipes with Ellen McKinney. Yum. For more on today's webisode, please visit my blog.